In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a brand new purchase order. To begin, we go to the navigator bar, click Adnums, Procurement, Non-Stop Procurement, Enter and Revise Non-Stop Purchase Orders. Click the green Add button. And to begin, we fill out the top part of the order. So the first field is the, the supplier. You may already know your supplier number, in which case you can just enter that right into the field. Or to search, we click the small magnifying glass to the right, change the search type to a V, and click the magnifying glass to bring up all of the suppliers that are already on the system. So we can scroll through and find our supplier using the alphabetically organized system. Or if you already know the name of your supplier, you can type that into the name search bar. Click the magnifying glass and select your supplier. To confirm, click the green tick. The field below is the ship to address. This is where you want the purchase order to be sent. So to search for that, again, click the magnifying glass to the right of the box, change the search type to F for facilities, click the magnifying glass. For this example, I'm going to use the Adnams Engineers Workshop. So select and click the green tick. To add any text to the purchase order, click order attachment, text, and enter any extra details in here. To save, we click the green button, to delete the bin button, and to cancel and come out of it, we click the red X. So I'm going to save. Once you've filled out those details, we need to add the item onto the purchase order. So make sure that you've filled out all of the details in the top, as once you click in the item number box, they gray out and you are unable to edit them again. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to enter an item using free text. So not adding a system, a item, sorry, that's already on the system. So in this box here, I'll type in we're ordering some spray paint for repairs. In description one and two, you can add some extra details. So you may want to add the job reference and who the order is for. Quantity ordered is self-explanatory. An account number is your GL code. So for this example, I'm going to type in the engineers repairs GL code. To select a request date, just click in the box and a small calendar will appear where you can select your date. Unit of measure, you enter in here, so I've used EA for each. And you enter your unit cost. The only other box that you need to fill in is the line type. So if you're entering an item like this, not selecting one on the system, it will always be line type J. So if you click on the line below, it will update that item and fill out any details using the information on the system. And you can repeat this step as many times as you want to add as many items as you want onto the purchase order. So to move on to the next step, we click the green tick and this will give us our order number, so 271. And to send the purchase order to the supplier, we need to cross out of this screen, search for our order number, so 271, click the magnifying glass, and then we select our order, right click, and select print order. And what this will do, once we click this green tick here, it will send us the order to the supplier via email. So to complete, cross out of the screen.